Hi there, Leo. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color, and this is your reading for December 11th through the 18th, 2022. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Uh, the little mini message is you can get it done. You might have to look at it upside down, but you can get it done. Okay. You know, it's whatever's going on with me. And, you know, I was going to, uh, last week I started with Sagittarius because it's Sagittarius season, right? Then I was going to start a Sagittarius because it's still Sagittarius season. I was like, I don't want to spoil, you know, I don't want to spoil the signs. I don't know if I've ever started with Leo. It's like, okay. Because, you know, the natural thing is to start with Aries. It's the first sign in the, um, I was going to say in the deck, in the sky. But I rarely start at the beginning. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm having a sale on readings as well as on scarves through December 15th. The information is on my community page. And I am in the process of adding uh, a store to YouTube. And I had a guy do it and there are some t-shirts up there and I'm trying for him to get readings up there. So if it comes up on your thing, I can't see it in Mexico. Uh, it's really weird. Um. Let me know. All right. The reason I said do it upside down is because, you know, I, I read so often that my cards are starting to um, warp. So now I'm um, shuffling backwards, you know, like with the, the faces of the cards toward me to, uh, to unwarp the other way. It should be a furniture maker, right? All right. Don't make promises you can't keep. You know, I, it's like, because I wanted to tell you about the videos I'm planning on doing, right? But I have so much to do um, that it's like, I'm not sure I'm going to get to it. So I don't want to like say, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to. I hate that. I hate when I'm going to, I'm going to. So just, just do it. So don't make promises you can't keep or that put you under pressure. or overextend yourself, right? Yeah, exactly. Don't overextend yourself, right? Because otherwise it's gonna be a burden. It's so weird how cards kind of work like that. And then I have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles came up with a weekly reading. The, the Page of Pentacles, well, first of all, pages are always about, you know, something new, a new idea. And it's not even an idea yet, it's like an inkling. It's like a, I don't know, something floating around in your head, some like, oh, maybe that'll work, or maybe I can try that, or, oh, I'm looking at this in a new way. You know, it's not something I've really thought of, but, you know, maybe there's an opportunity there. It's a little bit of that. So I feel like if you're burdened and you're taking on too much, you're not going to be able to see opportunities that are there. And then I have the six, the six of pentacle, uh, no, the six of swords. The six of swords is a really interesting card. They're coming from a turbulent, a, blah, 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 a turbulent place into tranquility. They're refugees. And there's an energy in the Six of Swords. There's a lot of energy in the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords for me, well, first of all, you know, so they're going from turbulent, it, it's, it's thought. They're going from a place of like crazy or like there's a lot going on into a place that's like, oh, okay, I can calm down. I can take a breath and kind of see things, kind of figure things out, kind of reflect on where I've been, right? Where I'm going, you know, I'm coming out of a place that's that was less than ideal. The other thing about the six of sword, um, swords, I said it the right way this time, is I always get this energy of Lot's wife, of you can't see the road ahead of you in the rear view mirror, right? It's really about, What's next? What's forward? What's the future? It's not about this remorse or um, uh, it's not about being defined by the past. That's what I want to say. It's not about being defined by the past. 
you know, maybe the past was very burdensome, right? And now you're like, I can try something new. And there you go on your little boat. And there's, I have more interpretations of that card, but I've said enough. <laughs> and then I have the King of Cups. The King of Cups to me is a great listener. He listens to his intuition and he listens to himself. He listens to others, but he really listens to himself with a sense of compassion. So, here, so here's an, an odd example. Sometimes we talk to ourselves in a negative fashion and it's become so habitual, we're not even aware of it, right? You keep on saying, I'm not even gonna give an example because I don't wanna like feed it. And you keep on saying something, I am so negative word, right? And it's be, sort of become a habit and then it sort of become, but I think you're gonna be able to see it and catch it and say, that's not true. So the other thing about like the way to change a thought is to introduce something new. It's not to fight the thought. Don't fight it because then it just gets stronger. Just introduce something new. So introduce the opposite. That was easy. You know, I'm so positive word. I am so positive word. How, you know, and then you can make it into different sentences, okay? Yeah, you've taken responsibility. You've taken two kings, knowledge. And here comes the Empress. The Empress is such a wonderful card. It's really one of the most benefic in the deck. Really, it is. It's a three, it's creativity, it's Venus, it's love. It's also, the thing about the Empress is that, um, She's really in a state of ease. She's really empowered and she's really in a state of ease. She's really comfortable. She's super comfortable. She's really in a state of ease. And it's like, um, maybe what I was talking about, that burden that you like dropped or decided not to take on this week, hopefully forever and ever and ever and ever. You never know. Uh, and this desire to leave all the turbulence and all the crazy behind and go into a place of tranquility and go into a place of reflection. I never really used that before, but sometimes I get with this card, this sense of reflection, because they're going into like this calm lake or harbor or whatever it is, sea. And um, I, always, I, I always get the energy of scrying with that card. So, you know, scrying is one, when one has vision in a reflective surface, like a crystal ball, or you can scry on water, like in the moonlight, right? Or you can scry on certain, like obsidian, you can scry on obsidian, which is a volcanic glass. And um, I feel like if you're in a state of ease, like the state that the Empress is in, a state of flow, a, st a state of allowance and allowing things to grow and allowing new ideas to grow. And you've taken responsibility, right? And, and you know, you've taken hold of your instinct. You've taken hold of your instinct and you're listening really carefully to yourself in a loving, kind, um, compassionate manner. Yeah. And you're going to be building something. And you know what's funny about this card? So uh, it's another three, by the way. And I always get I always get with this card that it's like something subconscious. It might be something that you're building in your head that you're not quite 100% aware of, or it, maybe you're building it in your dream life because it's the dark. It's very odd that it's in the dark. And it's very odd that they're in the church in the dark. That's what this whole card is like. Hmm? Um, so it, it's almost like there's this energy of your, of you know, pieces and parts of yourself that are building something um, subconsciously that has yet to see the light of day. But uh, worry not, it's being... Um, worked on 
right? You know, if they're building a tunnel and you're going over the street, you have no idea that they're building the tunnel. I mean, maybe you can hear the noise, but that's just an example, okay? It's like, oh, they, they are, they did. There's a really cool um, thing on YouTube of the um, of what's going on underneath the street in New York. You know, all the, the gas lines and the water lines and the subway and other trains that come through and the steam that comes up and the internet. And it's like, it's a whole thing. And it's like walking on the street. I mean, unless you're walking on one of those steam things, it's like, really? Because, you know, you're walking on the street, you feel like you're on solid ground, you know, like man farm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like your subconscious is forming new dreams. And then once it becomes revealed, I'm not sure when it's going to be revealed though, but once it becomes revealed, you'll be able to like go to a new place. This is really interesting. So I had one of my guests on Tarot Tuesday um, saw the chariot. So the chariot's a seven. It's about confidence. This is the second seven, by the way. And um, sevens are about confidence. And, you know, this is, this is somebody who is going to execute the plan because they have to prove something. And it's not so much that they have to prove it to other people. It's like they have this instinct and this desire to prove it to themselves. And he, she described him as the astronaut, which is really fascinating. And because this is like, you know, the starry night. And it's like, because I'm getting all these cards of like, you go into a new place, right? You're trusting your instinct in a way that you haven't. You know, the goddess is here. And then I get this subconscious and I get this sort of dreamy card. I feel like it's almost like you're going off into a place that you never dreamed of going before, that you never really dreamed of going before, but it seems like the opportunity presents itself or something clicks in your mind. And it's like, yeah, I never really thought of doing that, but now I'm doing it and, uh, and I'm going to go forward with it and gung ho. Yeah, because you can manifest whatever it is you desire. It's also a one. So one is about leadership. He has all the tools he needs. He's eternal. You're eternal. Um, his belt is a snake, which is really about wisdom, occult wisdom. And um, what else did I want to say about that card? He manifests through the spoken word. He's very oral. He's very verbal. He manifests through the spoken word. You know, and there, it, I've talked about this before. I don't know with you, but with other, it, it, the, the, even though the magician really isn't the first card, he really is sort of the first card because he's, because the fool is kind of unborn. The fool is like, anything can happen. You know, the fool is almost like a feather in the wind in a way. And it's like, well, if the wind blows that way, they're going to land on that street and they might end up in the tree. They might, you know, when the magician like solidifies it and, and incarnates and there's an energy in the magician, the way I understand it, of a, a verbal, um, I am successful. I am loved. I am strong. I am, um, you know, put in a positive word, right? You put in a positive word. I think that's the, like, part of the transformation. I think that's part of the transformation that's going on. Let me throw another card. It's a gift. It's the gift of healing. It's the gift of healing, the gift of intuition. And in the past, You've been like, mm. but now I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're ready. And I feel like maybe the, maybe it'll, um, maybe you've changed or you've been looking at your subconscious in a different way 
or you're allowing it to filter through in a new way that you're able and willing and ready, willing and able to receive more um, intuitive understanding, um, more compassion, more um, ease. What a nice reading. All right. Yeah, you're dropping the burden. You're willing to learn something new. You're going to a different place in your head that's more reflective. You're able to manifest whatever it is you want toward your healing, toward your intuition. You're in a state of abundance and creativity and ease. You uh, are owning it and it will instinctually act on it when the time is right. But you're listening really closely with tremendous compassion to yourself and to your desires. Your subconscious is working overtime. Uh, you can choose whatever dream it is that you'd like. And when it's time to move, you're going to move rather quickly because you've uncrossed your arms and you've accepted the gift and the opportunity. Very nice. Blessings. See you soon.